This is Dr. Pierce and I'm going to show you how to run a urinalysis. Before we begin, let's go over a few things. You want to have your checkup kit, uh, wellness urinalysis test strips, and that on the back has the color-coded uh, indices that you will compare your pet's urinalysis strip to. You can write these down on a piece of paper or uh, have them printed out so that you can record those uh, indices. Now I've got a urinalysis here for uh, a pet named Fluffy and I have the times for each of those indices written out here as well. As you'll notice on the test strips, the times are different for each of the blocks of uh, test pad. So need to keep in mind those times as we go through. So we will be running the test slightly different than what is recommended on the directions. We won't be dipping the whole strip into the urine and then reading the results. We will follow the 120 seconds for the leukocytes, 30 seconds for the nitrates, urobilogen, and protein pH. Blood is 60 seconds. Specific gravity is the uh, shortest at 10 seconds. And then ketones, bilirubin, and glucose. Some of these can be run together because they're all 30 seconds. So keep that in mind. You can shorten up that time frame. Okay, so I got my stuff there. You want to have your urine, if it's dog urine or cat urine, you want that to be um, at room temperature. Or if you just collected it from your kitty, then uh, you use the pipette that's provided in the kit. Let me put on my other glove. It's a good idea to wear gloves when doing this, just because uh, urine can spill and have a paper towel down on your workspace. This is the uh, test tube. This test tube is not large enough for this strip to fit into, to dip the, the uh, strip into the yarn. You'll notice that when you open yours up, you will have a seal on there. So there's one of the test strips. There's our color, we'll need that later. So I'm gonna do this dry because you'll see that that does not fit all the way to the top. And if you were to fill this urine up to say there, it wouldn't reach the top pads in the, on the strip when you put it in that way. So uh, ideally don't use the strip that way. You wanna collect your urine and if you're collecting it off of the uh, special uh, litter, then you just pipette that urine right off the top of the litter into your little test tube. You can also save this urine for your veterinarian if there is something going on with your pet. Uh, keep it refrigerated uh, till you can get that to your veterinarian. I'm using a little paper cup here to just hold my test tube. And you can definitely cut those down or use a smaller paper cup if you want to set that test tube in there. So to start the urinalysis, first I'm going to get a timer here on the phone. And I'm going to start that timer and note when it starts. You may have a specific timer that does 30 seconds or 60 seconds. That's ideal. Or you can use the phone timer. I'm going to start that timer and I'm going to do the first pad and place a drop of urine on that first pad. I'm going to let that run 120 seconds. And once that's reached 120 seconds, I'm 
I'm going to read the first line, which is leukocytes at 120 seconds. You can see here that it goes from trace all the way up to a large amount of leukocytes. Leukocytes are important because what that is looking at is the white cells in the blood. I, I'm sorry, in the urine. And if there's white cells in the urine, a lot of times there can mean that there's inflammation or that there are other things going on like an infection in the bladder. So we've run our 120 seconds and we're going to compare that. You might have to dab off a little bit of urine if it's uh, float up or a bubble on the pad. And as you can see, that matches best to negative because there's no color. It isn't turning slightly brown or to a purpley color. So that is negative on the leukocytes. Now again, timing, and I'm just going to note the time as the timer runs. The next three pads are urobilogen, protein, pH, and those can all be run in 30 seconds. So I'm going to put a drop of urine on each of those pads. And I'm also going to write down that first indice. And that was negative. And so the next three I'm gonna I'm gonna skip the first one because that's the leukocytes. We've already read that one. We're gonna read the nitrite, urobilogen, protein, and pH. Again, I might have to dab a little bit of that urine off so it doesn't get all over everything. Again, we're going to line up nitrites, and you see it's yellow, just like the, or negative, kind of a pale color. The next one is urobilogen, and you can see that one is not turning pink. It doesn't match up to those. It matches up to the first one, so it is normal or negative. There is a slight amount of protein in this urine. Uh, that looks like it's a uh, plus, instead of a trace, it's a little more. So there's a slight amount of protein in that urine. Protein can occur sometimes if there is, uh, the pet is just maybe eating a meal, or sometimes you will see proteins if there's a slight amount of inflammation in the, in the urine. Okay. Now the next one is at 60 seconds. And if you get comfortable with this, you can do these quickly. The next one is going to be the specific gravity, and that's 10 seconds. So that's the, the shortest one is the next pad. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and do the 10 seconds. Okay. Oh, sorry, that one is protein and pH. We got those lined up right. <laughs> so you can see where even veterinarians mess up. Okay. And that's the pH, and that one is around 6, not quite 6, 5. And the next two pads are blood and, so I missed a pad there, I'm sorry about that. Okay, so that's our 10 second one there, and that's okay. We got that lined up, and that one lined up. Sixty seconds on blood, 
that one's negative. Our specific gravity is around 10, 10 to 10, 15. Next one is ketones, that one's negative. And then we got two more at 30 seconds. Now, don't feel bad if you mess up like I did. That shows you that there could be confusion as far as where to read these on the strip. So you gotta line it up with each of the pads and then read across. Don't worry if you mess up on one of the indices because you can always come back and do another strip. There are 50 strips in this test kit so you have plenty to practice or uh, run a dip, another one on the urine and normally you'll have plenty of urine to run one or two strips uh, if you make a mistake so don't worry about that. So again we're lining these up we're looking at Specific gravity is around 1010, uh, 1015. The ketones are negative, they're at the brown, the bilirubin is brown, and the glucose is saying that there, whoop, that one is a little bit, doesn't have quite enough urine on it, need to cover the whole pad. And that one is looking negative. Now you see on that glucose, there's just a slight green color, but it's more towards the blue than the green. So that can be very confusing. If you like, you can take pictures of these as you go through to be able to um, send over to the ASFET veterinarians and we can help you with reading those samples. So again, you're going to line those up like that and read the pads. And you can see that the pads on the bottle are a little bit farther apart so they can put the numbers underneath them. So sometimes you have to adjust your hand up and down to get to the right place. So that's how you do a urinalysis. Now to clean up, of course, throw out all your um, materials. If you do find something that's abnormal and you want to discuss it with one of our veterinarians, please contact us. We can help you 24-7, 365 days a year. We also have uh, the ability to uh, help you if you need to rerun it or help you during running the test if you're having questions or those types of things. I would go ahead and write those things down. Now I'm used to remembering those, but um, that was negative. The nitrates were negative. The urobilogen was negative. The protein was a plus 30 on this uh, strip, so right there. The pH was around 6, yes. There was no blood, that was negative. This said the urine specific gravity was 1010. The ketones were negative, bilirubin and glucose were all negative. So these are all negative, negative, and negative. So that'll help you, and if you need to rerun this, or say, for example, your pet has um, something else going on like diabetes, glucose, bilirubin, and ketones are important to run uh, pretty often, as well as pH can be important because pH will determine if there's crystals in the urine, and sometimes crystals can lead to inflammation in the bladder, and then you'll start to see blood or proteins or other things in the urine. So this one, um, I would be slightly concerned about the protein being at 30 and the specific gravity low, but I will say this, the specific gravity pads on most of these strips are not really super accurate. Um, the 
usual method that your veterinarian uses to measure specific gravity is an instrument called a refractometer. So I'm not too concerned about that uh, unless I was to get a really low specific gravity on that refractometer. So that kind of wraps it up. If you do have questions, please let us know. We're here 24-7, like I said before, and we can help you either run the test and or uh, read the results and figure out what's going on. I would expect that uh, most healthy, happy pets would be negative on most of these indices, uh, but, you know, there are those times when this could show up uh, before any other signs, um, so it's a good idea to check your pet's urine on a regular basis. So that's how to run the urine checkup strips. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.